are headed up to the dolomite covered white mountains to search for the oldest trees in the world but first we have to come down off this mountain get out of coyote flats it'll take us a few hours and then we'll cross the valley head up silver canyon and hopefully find some place to camp along the way What are, you, what are you doing right now, Bryson? That's almost 100 nights. Yeah. We've never done it. All right, we have been on the road, dirty, playing in mud, playing in water and dust. And it's time for bath. Brody was complaining that I was stinky last night. Do you remember that? <laughs> so that means it's time for bath. So here's what we do. These are called soap cloths. And I heated up a little bit of water on the, uh, on the stove top. This pack has 10 of these soap cloths. And I'm just gonna dip it in the water. Are you ready? And uh, so I dip it in the water real quick. Boom. Squeeze out the water. You can't catch me. And I'm the one to dam. All right, fine. I'll be the only clean guy in here. And then you just start to wipe your body down. And the good thing they have is a cloth. I to my But it's itching because you need to clean it up. You ready to do this? Okay. All right, let's do it. Got what you found uh, behind me, Dad. So there's a trail of this behind you. All right. A uh, bunch of them, and uh, the nuts gone. So let me show you this nut. Oh, so you can see we just completely disconnected. All of a sudden, I couldn't steer. It uh, felt like it was trying to throw me off the edge of the road. So we're hoping that we can find this nut. Here's our problem. Oh, well, looks like the metal shavings were coming from the wheel. Yeah, I think you can the see wheel. the line from where I was dragging all the way around the wheel there. All right, so glad to not be alone right now. Uh, Greg is going to try and put the pin into the uh, steering wheel, the wheel that is steering, while I slowly turn it driver's side, try to reconnect it to the, the uh, wheel on the other side. All right, so uh, here I go, just a tiny Don't bit, worry. right? Yep, just a tiny bit at a time. Keep going. A little bit more. All right, here's what she found. Not it. Ooh, that's um, so that. I've got my walkie on 22. I'm gonna go for a hike. Okay, you have any, uh, how about uh, bungee? So I can uh, bungee this up. Yeah. Um, there's some bungees right here. You want a, do you want a really big zip tie? Uh, that'll work too, yeah. I'm gonna run down there. Okay. It's gonna be a hike. Like I said, I've got my walkie. I'll be right back. So I, I drove probably about uh, two to 300 yards with the steering completely disconnected. We know it's way down the hill somewhere. I'm gonna go for a bike ride, look for that nut. Uh, we are in this amazing, amazing place, greatly high. We've been coming up this crazy washboard road and I lost my bolt for my, uh, my steering and just rode my bike down here looking for it. I stopped at this one spot, but if I was gonna drop off, it'd be right here. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> I found it. Day is saved. Comms check. I found it. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. 
All right, man. I am really far down the hill. It's gonna take me a while. No worries at all. I cannot believe you found it. <laughs> well, found the piece. Found the piece. Pretty stoked, man. I found it. I actually took the joint back off and put the boot on. Okay. That looks just like it. All right. So we have found it. Found the nut. It fits. Hopefully the threads are okay. Uh, I just the the threads on the the bottom end were kind of boogered up a little bit. But the top was okay, so I just flipped it and ran it top down first to clear the threads. Nice. And then flipped it the way it's supposed to go. Thread it right on. Love it. All right, boom. We are back on the road. Greg has put the tie rod back on with the right bolt that we found downhill. And hopefully nobody's going to die. So no one will. I think we're good. Let me see that shirt one more time, though. I am the warranty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it says entering... The ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest. Right, you see the white mountains over there? You see how it's white over there? That's very alkali soil. And very few things can grow in it. You know what can grow in it? Back. The oldest trees in the world. You want to go find them? Yeah. Me too, let's go. Why are they so puffy? I think we don't have so much gravity. Well, yeah, at a higher altitude, there's less air. Dad, yeah. is, it, is it going to fly? <laughs> Almost. It'll be, it'll be to fly. <laughs> so funny how they choose not to fly. Why, Dino? Oh, just walking up there. Yeah, it definitely is. Pulled over to check out this uh, really bright lichen. Crazy, isn't it? We are so high, and there are almost no trees. See the white mountain up there? We're going there formed under a warm sea that once covered this area, dolomite is alkaline soil which most plants have a difficult time growing in. However, the slow growing bristlecone pines are able to tolerate the soil condition and thrive in it with no competition. I did not know any of that. Brody, look how big this one is. Timberline Ancients, you're now entering the Patriarch Grove, home of the Great Basin bristlecone. <laughs> what are you doing? Lightning strike. Brody, what do you think? Why do you think this tree got struck by lightning? Because it's tall. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so uh, we decided I just went and ran around all my lugs and, and they were all tight. Now we're going to recheck what uh, Greg put on here. Feels nice and tight. I actually went around and, and torqued all these correctly about uh, a month ago. These guys, the ball joints, actually do wear out over time. And rather than having to replace them, you tighten them. And so I had gone around and tightened them. And when I did that, I tightened these guys down trying to take any of them off. But, uh, Man, those washboards just rattle stuff off. It's crazy. Uh, all's well that ends well. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna check the coolant level right now. Oh, we can sit here, but it's, it's real hot right up. So coolant's here. You don't fill it all the way up. There is a little hash mark. I, I have some in there. It does look like uh, I could add some more, but. Um, there is plenty to continue running this. So I don't I don't feel like we need to fill it up right now. Go digging through the Jeep to find the fluids. Uh, what fluids do you carry with you? Uh, to be honest, only water. <laughs> really? So Greg is awesome because we just, just recorded this two minute bit you're about to hear and I didn't hit record on my phone. <laughs> so Greg, by the way, JL underscore Overlander, check his stuff out. That's his beautiful Sarge green rig and, and turtle. Anyways, I was just asking him what kind of fluids he's carrying because I was checking and I noticed my colon slow. He said nothing. He said water. That's it. No oil, nothing. And I was telling him, I, I uh, went on a ride once, a pretty long trip, several days with... Uh, my buddy Don, Solid Squid, check him out. He's got some great stuff, great little hacks for your Jeep. And uh, 
Anyways, somebody sprung a leak and uh, somebody was low on oil. Somebody needed some uh, fluid in the radiator. He had it all. And I saw that and I was just like, wow, I, I want to be this guy. I don't want to run out of fluid as we go. Yeah. So I got all this and I think you're going to get it now. I will. I, I need to. I know that I do. One of the things. Oh, man. All right. So this is Patriot Grove. It's kind of hard to talk because it's 11,500 feet and there's not a lot of oxygen up here. We're going to go now to Schuler Grove and find the oldest tree, having found the biggest tree. And uh, man, it's quite an adventure. Brody's inside because it's a little bit chilly out here, but we'll get out there. Okay. So many crazy things happen on this trip. So right now, the drone is, where was I? I saw it a second ago, there it is. Oh God, it's so deep, I got it. I will be climbing. Are you there? No, not even close, but I'm on my way. Well, in the drone. Oh, right! Ah! Made it! 